we have discussed cracking and we obtain petrol using cracking we also obtain petrol using fissure drops process so how to decide or measure the quality of petrol that is a major question so we can measure the quality of petrol or gasoline by octane number how what is octane number let us discuss octane number is defined as the percentage by volume of isooctane present in the mixture of isooctane and n heptane which has same knocking tendency as that of petrol under test what is isooctane what is n heptane let us see this is the definition isooctane is an ideal fuel so isooctane is nothing but 2 2 4 trimethyl pentane when you are using isooctane it's a ideal fuel as a fuel in a ic ic engine that is internal combustion engine we found that the knocking tendency was very very less therefore the octane number of isooctane was arbitrarily fixed as 100 n heptane is a straight chain hydrocarbon that is our petrol may be c5 c6 c7 therefore we took only n heptane a straight chain hydrocarbon and we used it as a fuel in an ic engine and we found that the knocking tendency of fuel was very high therefore octane number of this n heptane is fixed to be 0 therefore octane number is inversely proportional to knocking as octane number is high knocking is less or knocking is high octane number is less any fuel for that matter the petrol or gasoline which is available in the market or petrol pump does not only contain n heptane or only such in hydrocarbons it contains even contains even the ideal fuel that is it contains cyclic hydrocarbons it contains branched chain hydrocarbons or aromatic hydrocarbons the decreasing tendency of fuel to knock is as follows straight chain hydrocarbons will knock more compared to branched chain branched chain will, will knock more compared to cyclic cyclic will knock more compared to alkenes alkenes will knock more compared to aromatic hydrocarbons so therefore if you're using only straight chain hydrocarbons the knocking tendency of fuel is very high so in order to decrease the knocking tendency of the fuel the fuel will mixed with branched chain or part of the fuel or the petrol will be converted to branched chain hydrocarbons part of the petrol will be converted to cyclic part of the fuel will be converted to alkenes or part of the fuel will be converted to aromatic and then will be supplied to the petrol pumps or the market in turn we are going to use in our automobiles so in the definition as we have told isooctane so the definition isooctane is an ideal fuel but in practical so isooctane in practical means branched chain cyclic alkenes and aromatic so any fuel if we consider which are using in our petrol pumps or in our vehicles it consists of straight chain hydrocarbons ranging from c5 to c7 and mixture of branched chain cyclic alkenes and aromatic in order to bring down the knocking tendency of the fuel so how to convert the straight chain into branched chain cyclic alkenes aromatic we are going to discuss in our next discussion so as soon as the fuel is obtained from the fractional distillation column it will be sent into the separate stage where the fuel is converted part of the petrol is converted into either branched chain or cyclic or alkenes or aromatic by a process known as reformation in order to increase octane number to decrease knocking because higher the octane number of the fuel lower is knocking 
the octane number of the fuel used in India is around 85, whereas octane rating of the fuel used in Western countries is 95 plus. The knocking tendency of the fuel in US is less compared to our country. So we cannot use the fuel of US or Western countries in our country because the design of the engine should be changed. So the octane number of Indian fuel or petrol is around 85. So we'll discuss how to convert the stretching hydrocarbons to a branched chain or cyclic or alkenes or aromatic in our next discussion. Thank you. Please like and share this video and do subscribe to the video resource YouTube channel.